Next, let us look at the connection between culture and thinking. Now, our culture, our beliefs, values, social practices and background influences our thinking to a large extent. Vygotsky's theory of uh, socio-cultural development also supports this because he says that uh, social factors and cultural factors, that is the S and the C out of his SCL, affect and influence cognitive development. So, they will influence thinking as well. And this fact that culture can influence thinking has to be kept in mind and kept into consideration while designing teaching material and deciding on the methodologies that we'll use in the classroom. Because the teaching material and the methodologies should be culture agnostic. That is, they should avoid any kind of bias. For example, if I am from an urban background and if I am creating a question for an exam and the question is, which of the following is a source of safe drinking water? Now, the correct answer that I am expecting is tap. But a child from a rural background is taking the same exam and he writes that uh, the source of a safe uh, drinking water is a well. So, if I look at it from a urban background, then tap might be the correct answer. If you look at it from a rural background, then well might also be a correct answer. Therefore, when I am setting questions for an exam, they should not have any bias. I should assume and I should take into consideration that there will be children of different backgrounds and different cultures who will be taking this exam. Therefore, the teaching material, the assessment material and the methodologies that I will use must not have any kind of bias based on culture. So, that is the connection between culture and thinking. 